So I have to tell y'all something I just did before this video gets started. I know I talk a lot, but hear me out. Last night we went to HEB and we bought a couple meals to cook and I filmed a grocery haul. So my intentions were film the grocery haul and then for each meal that I make this week that was included in the grocery haul, film the cooking and all of that stuff. So anyways, I was just filming meal number one, which is gonna be meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and squash. And my card, my SD card in my camera said it was full. So I was like, okay. I started deleting some old video clips. There was like clean in video clips from the last clean in video I posted, no big deal. And then I accidentally deleted the grocery haul. Can you imagine that? I accidentally deleted my grocery haul, which was part of this video. How did I let that happen? No way to get it back. But anyways, I just thought I'd let y'all know that this video was supposed to have a little grocery haul in the beginning, show you everything I got, and then I was gonna do all the cooking, but that went out the window real quick. So anyways, this is going to be an all cooking video, and I hope you enjoy it. No grocery haul today, I'm so bummed about that, but. What can you do? Gotta keep on keeping on. Anyways, let's get to this cooking video. So this is the next day after I got the groceries and I'm making the first meal. We're gonna make meatloaf with mashed potatoes. I don't have the potatoes out yet cause I'm gonna work on this first. So meatloaf is really easy to make, how I make it anyways. All you're gonna need is some ground beef, an egg, salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasonings, a little splash of this, some breadcrumbs. I'm using the Italian style panko. And I'm also going to be chopping up an onion and a bell pepper. So this doesn't have to be perfect. Y'all know I am not that good at cutting vegetables and all that fun stuff, but I'm just gonna try to cut it up as small as possible because this is gonna go inside of our meatloaf mix. So I'm using some of the bell pepper, not the whole bell pepper, because I'm gonna save the rest of the bell pepper for Whenever we have the spaghetti and meatballs this week, I'm gonna be adding onion and bell pepper to that as well. So I'm not gonna use this whole bell pepper or the whole onion. How cute is that? I just cut it. It's adorable. <laughs> so I cut up my bell pepper. Now I'm just gonna cut up my onion. I just realized, I think I just made this recently in a video, so don't mind me. I'm just sharing what we're having for dinner tonight. <laughs> Anyways, I'm chopping up these onions and then I'm gonna start Mixing it all together. All right, so we got the onion and the bell pepper in the bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my ground beef. All right, so I got my beef in there. I cracked my egg in there, and now I'm gonna start adding in the breadcrumbs. So I got my ground beef in there with the onion and the bell pepper, the egg. I added in some breadcrumbs, and now I'm gonna add a little bit of this, and then I'm just gonna mix and go, and if it seems like it's too wet, I'm gonna add more breadcrumbs. I'm also gonna be adding in the seasonings as well. Thank God for gloves because I cannot stand touching meat like this. Ugh. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it all together with my hands. And once I'm done mixing it, I'm gonna put her in my glass baking dish. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my baking dish. I'm just gonna smush it all down with my hands, like so. Ooh, this looks nasty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven. I'm gonna cook this until it's done, and then I'm gonna cover it in ketchup, pop it back in the oven to let that ketchup kinda cook on there a little bit, in the meantime, I'm gonna start getting my potatoes ready. All right, so I got my oven preheating to 420. I got my potatoes in water, gonna get them boiling. As soon as this is done preheating, I'm gonna put my meatloaf in the oven, and I've also got it covered with tin foil. Okay, so I put the ketchup on it, spread it all over, now I'm gonna pop it back in the oven for about 10 more minutes, and then I'm gonna start on my potatoes. All right, I drained my potatoes, and for the potatoes, I'm gonna be adding in some lactose-free milk, 
some roasted garlic oil, some parsley and salt and pepper and lots of butter and I'm gonna be mixing it with my hand mixer. All right, so my mashed potatoes are done. They are topped with some extra parsley. In this pan over yonder, I've got my squash going. I just put a little butter in there, salt and pepper, and just a dash of onion powder. My meatloaf is ready, so I'm gonna take it out of the oven and Alan's about to pull in. Woohoo! I'm ready to eat. Welcome back to my channel, Gypsy Wife Life. If you're new here, my name is Charity, and today I'm gonna to be making a big old pot of soup. You can eat on this all day, and then you can eat on it tomorrow and the next day if you want to. Let's get started. I'm gonna show you what all goes into it, and then we're just gonna start making it. So here is everything you're gonna to need to make this soup. I'm gonna show you it all one by one. First, you're gonna need a big old pot and a cutting board, so get her ready. We got some little carrots over here I'm gonna be cutting up. We got some spinach I'm gonna be adding in. We got some mild Italian sausage links. I am gonna be taking the sausage itself out of that casing. We got some minced garlic, a can of diced tomatoes. I chose the Italian style, choose whatever you want. Chicken broth, some of this pasta, ditalini I guess it's pronounced. Some garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, two zucchinis, an onion, and we're gonna top it off with some grated Parmesan. So the first thing I'm gonna do is chop up this onion. It's only a half onion, but I'm gonna cut up the whole thing. So the first step, I'm going to turn the heat on and I'm going to add a little drizzle of oil just to saute my onions. I'm also going to be adding in about a teaspoon of minced garlic. I'm going to give that a little stir and let the onions start sauteing. In the meantime, I'm going to take the sausage out of the casings. I'm actually gonna do this off camera because I think it's really gross. So I don't think y'all wanna watch that. So this is starting to heat up and my onions are starting to saute a little bit. I'm gonna give this about five to seven minutes till those onions cook down a little bit. And then I'm gonna add in the sausage. In the meantime, I'm gonna cut up my vegetables. So I'm gonna cut up the zucchini. All right, got that done. I'm also gonna start dicing up some of these carrots and I think I'm actually gonna throw them in right now with the onions because carrots always seem to take a lot of time to cook down. So I added in my carrots and then I added in my sausage. I'm gonna break that down because we want it to be like ground sausage and then I'm also going to season it with the salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and Italian seasonings. I will be adding more of that later, but this is just for the meat for now. So now that the meat is all browned up, looks and smells delicious, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the whole can of the tomatoes with the juice and all. And then I'm also gonna start adding in some liquid. So I'm gonna do chicken broth. I'm also gonna be adding in some water. I'm gonna start adding in more seasoning. So salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and Italian seasonings. I'm gonna let that cook for a little bit. And then we'll add in our pasta, our zucchini, and our spinach will be added in towards the end. This is what she's looking like. Doesn't look good, but she gon' taste good. So I'm gonna let the pasta and the zucchini cook, and then once it's all done, we're gonna add in that spinach. So now that the pasta's done, I'm gonna go ahead and add in lots of spinach. The spinach is gonna cook down, so when you're putting it in, it's gonna seem like a lot, but don't worry, it's gonna cook down. In the day. 
So I'm gonna turn the heat down now. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit more spinach. The more spinach, the better. It's so good. I'm gonna turn the heat down and put the lid on it and just let this cook for a little bit. All right, the soup is officially done. It looks so good. So I'm gonna make me a little bowl and we're gonna eat together. Feels funny eating alone. Alan's not home yet. And I'm not waiting for him to get home to dig into this. Parmesan cheese, ooh, oh my gosh. It's probably gonna be too hot, but I'm impatient and I'm starving, so I'm probably gonna dig right in. So, I've been sitting here watching Full House, but I had to turn it off because I don't want any copyright flag, flags, whatever it's called. Strikes, strikes. <laughs> Anyway, so I just got two packages at my door. One of them was from Amazon. I had ordered just some little tiny earrings to put in my second and third hole and maybe into my second cartilage piercing. I put the second and third ones in and I love them, but I haven't put the second one in up here yet. But I also got another package, a big box. And I know Alan got me something for Christmas, so I don't wanna open it because I don't know if it's from him. But the weird thing is, it's under my name and normally when he orders something like it would be under his name so I don't know what this package is I'm kind of scared I just don't know what to do so I texted Alan he's at work I texted him I said hey did any of your packages get in because I know he ordered me something for Christmas he hasn't wrote back yet so I don't know if I should open it or not should I tee hee and maybe I'll just retape it and not tell him Mm, mm, mm. I just don't know what else the package could be. It's crazy. Y'all, this soup is so good. I wish I would have had another thing of chicken broth though, because I do feel like it needs some more liquid, but it's so good. Mm. If you make this, please top it off with that grated Parmesan. It makes it like so much better. I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool off a little more because it is so hot. I'm gonna end up burning my mouth, but I'm so hungry. The only thing I had today was, well, I had two cups of coffee this morning, and then I had a slice of toast with butter and grape jelly. And then I had some gypsy pudding, like several pieces. Because once you eat a piece, like, you can't stop. You just want more and more. It's so good. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, though. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. I hope you make it. And if you do, tell me about it. Tell me if you liked it. Ugh. <laughs> the cheese. Mmm. So good. I told y'all I was going to wait for this to cool off, and I'm over here eating it. I'm telling you, I'm starving. Ooh, I wish I had some good bread to dip in this. I do have some bread, but I don't feel like making it. Alan just texted back. Hey, he said that it's not what he ordered. He said the package should be in tomorrow, so the one that's here today. Should I open it? Maybe I'll open it. Let's see what it is. I'm kind of scared. What could this be? Christmas and a blessed new year. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so this is a Holly Dolly advent calendar. Oh my gosh, I love Dolly Parton. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. What is it? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, it's sweets. <laughs> she knows I love sweets. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So for country music legend, Dolly Parton, the holiday season is all about faith, fun, food, and family with plenty of sweet surprises for everyone. This year, Dolly brings the festive magic with her signature advent calendar. Every day from the 1st of December until the night before Christmas, you'll discover a different treat hidden behind a calendar window. These colorful, individually wrapped confections are some of Dolly's favorites, including gold chocolate stars, champagne bubbles, and more. <laughs> I probably have spinach in my teeth right now. Oh my gosh. Such a sweet, thoughtful gift. <laughs> I can't believe it was for me, and I can't believe it was from one of my best friends. Like, she means the world to me. <laughs> means the literal world to me. <laughs> I have melted Parmesan cheese stuck in my teeth. <laughs> okay, I have to, I have to message her really quick. <laughs> I'll be back. Anyways, <laughs> that was so funny. So funny and so emotional because <laughs> this is the sweetest thing ever and I love my little friend so much and yeah, <laughs> that was all just caught on camera. <laughs> Anyways, so it's got like candies and stuff in it and you're supposed to open up each one. What's the date today? Do I get to eat all of them right now? December 8th. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the sweetest thing ever. Thank you so much. Ah, guess what? My soup has cooled down now, so I can <laughs> finish eating. <laughs> I've tried and cried my little eyes out. And I baked my under eyes, so they look really crusty and funky now. But it's all good, I guess. <laughs> mm. Anyways, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I'll see y'all next time, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try out this recipe. It's delicious. You're going to love it. Hope your family loves it too. I'm going to finish eating, finish talking to my friend, and I'll see you all next time.